guys, it's Mac. I'm back. Yay. I'm tired. I'm going a little hoarse because I can't. <clears throat> and I'm tired. I got home like around 12. So. <clears throat> and it's like 5.08 now. I've been on and off taking naps and I've been watching YouTube and stuff. Because my pastor, Justin, or my pastor, his name is Justin, he does something called Poe on the Go. He goes to Swipe Day Pat. It's called Justin Poe. What it is. And he's doing, he goes, he does Poe on the Go. And it's like nightly videos of him exploring the camp and stuff. Well, this is my shirt. Kids qu Quest. Ugh. And I just watched. Well, it's 40 minutes long. The first one from 2016. He's he haven't posted the one from 2017 yet. But I'm excited okay to see that because I'm in it a lot. I'm I'm in, I'm in it a lot of the 2017 more than I am 2016. But he edited out a lot of the parts that I was actually in. But <clears throat> maybe he he'll add it on. The, I don't know. But camp was fun. Nothing really changed on you on YouTube for me. I'm going horse. <clears throat> I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm losing my voice. I've been screaming all week. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a nap. Take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap. But I know I shouldn't. Cause I'll be going to bed in like three hours. No, okay, so when you're 11 through 13, you have to say five memory verses a day to be on something called A-Team. And A-Team is for 11 through 13 year olds who say five verses a day and they get to go out and at nighttime, they get to do fun stuff like extra activities and stuff. So I got to do that. Cause you gotta wake up at like six or seven cause breakfast is at eight. So if you get, have to get a shower in the morning, you gotta wake up at six. And if you got a shower at night, you wake up at seven. You gotta get ready. Just with that, so you gotta get ready. You gotta get up at, at, at for the kids. You gotta get up at six. They only get around. We get back from A team. It's about an hour because <clears throat> it's about an hour to an hour and a half. But when I'm watching TV, <laughs> um, because not our night service ends at like around 10 30 to 11 wait no sorry it ends from like 10 to 10 30 around that time so 18 weeks back at the church at like 10 30 or whatever and the first night we rode segways that was fun <clears throat> And then we rode like tri bikes. I came in second place out of three races I did. Cause the first one I won, the second one I won, the third one, someone beat me because they didn't say go. And they just started going, I'm like, oh crap. So. I'm losing my voice. And the second night, we had the um, we had the help from the full armor of God. Like we were looking, the girls were looking for the shield of righteousness, and then the guys were looking for the I think it's the sword of faith or something, sword of spirit. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyway, so we were walking down this like creepy dark trail. We were walking through the woods at like midnight. It was creepy but we knew nothing bad was going to happen to us because we were at church camp and they and the place where we were was like trails through the woods but it was so creepy like it was like a 3 a.m video but not gone wrong <coughs> um and hold on
What is this? Toys. Oh, it's this one. Ah, okay, that's all that much. I just forgot which one they were gonna do. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god. So. Oh yeah. So we had the some girls have water balloon, um, water balloons, and some other others have water guns. We were walking down the trail. Someone screamed, you can't have this shield. It was like surrounded by glow sticks so we could see. And they flung a glow stick across the trail. Every girl screamed to the top of their lungs. Like they were like freaking out. And then we all just like started throwing water balloons at each other, like not purposely, but we did. And, oh, what was I gonna say now? Oh my god. I'm just back to be, I'm just, I'm not really glad to be back from camp. The carpet? Yeah, it's not a carpet. Carpet? I said carpet. Like it was an F, it's weird. I'm tired. Anyway. So yeah, we found it before the boys did. And then we got ice cream. Yeah, that was fun. That was, that was amazing. Ice cream. Okay, then we vandalized someone's van. Just kidding. It was our pastor's van, Justin. He said he, we, everyone calls it the creeper van because he's a creeper. I'm just kidding. But we call it the creeper van because it's creepy and stuff. So we have five older five older girls and five younger girls and I oh it's not right oh it's right oh crap well no really we have six older girls and four younger ones like four of them were nine and then I'm 11 we have another we got two 12 year olds two 13 year olds no Three 12 year olds, two 13 year olds, and I'm 11. So I'm gonna, cl I'm should be included as like an older girl. But they said, okay, older girls, you'll, we can go and we're gonna vandalize this van. I didn't get to do it. Like, I was so upset because this could be my last year here. And all I did was clean it up. Like, they made us clean it up, even if we didn't do it. Like, they made us clean it up, and it was stupid. I don't care. Anyway. What was I going to say? I don't even remember anymore. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Um, oh yes, yeah, so we were cleaning it up and stuff. But we did it for a purpose. Because he pranked the Idly boys, which is like the counselors and training or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so he pranked them. He moved all their beds around and stuff in their cabin. So. Our lead cannot prank or they'll get in big trouble. So we pranked him back for him. And he didn't know it was us until we told him. Like, it was like blue everywhere on that van. And like, we had, there was dirt on the side of his van. We just ended up cleaning that up too, just to be nice. I got home and Wilson was like freaking out. Come here. Most likely. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Okay. My feet hurt. Yes. Last night we were. I'm sorry. My hair is a mess. Last night we were literally like standing for at least an hour or whatever because we were like worshiping and stuff. People were crying. We were standing there for at least an hour to an hour and a half, and it like. It killed my feet. And that night we had A-Team. We had bazooka ball, which is like, it's like a, they're soft foamy balls that if you get hit by them, they don't really hurt. It's like paintball, but with no paint. Okay. I'm gonna take my mom's What are you gonna check out through the window? Run the, uh, dark. 
<coughs> anyway, I had a lot of fun at camp. I cannot wait till next year. So if no one's here, what was he working at? Cause oh, it's just some lady walking her dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ow! Mary has gone to Florida for the weekend with my grandmother. So I get a entire weekend without her again. I didn't see her any this week. I don't have to see her again until Sunday night. I'm beyond excited. Well, kind of. Because I have a good, I have good times without my sister. But then, whenever my mom don't do nothing with me, like she just like sits in her room, she don't play board games with me or something, I get lonely. Maybe don't play with me anyway, so. But we had a, we did, okay, so I got home, I went to the bathroom. There was this, kids toothpaste and light up toothbrush in the bathroom and I was so freaking confused I'm like whose is this then I remembered our friend Cameron came up kind of came over and well she came over and she spent the night and sorry I'm watching TV um I was assuming it's hers, but I don't think it is. It could be our friend Ashanti's. I don't even know, and I don't really care. I had a shout out, and I completely forgot who it was. <clears throat> I'll comment down below who I give shout outs to this week. Or not this way, but like today. Oh my god. Oh, it's my mom. Oh no. It's not my mom. I thought my mom texted me. Well, go follow Justin Post so you can see what we did last year and this year. And maybe you can just come to camp and see me. Like, just come meet me. I'll give you an autograph or whatever. So, guys, I'm gonna go now. Bye, guys. Mm.